Okay, Drew. So uh, I'm, I, now I don't have to interview uh, Jared. That's cool, right? I'm gonna replace him. Yeah. Well, no, <laughs> no. You're like A team. He's B team. Oh, don't tell him. He probably won't watch this anyway. So, OAC. I was I was just talking to Mike Hurley. Did you know Ryan Hurley was one of the first OAC state champions? First year we had it with Jackson Junior High. Yeah. He told me that. I was like, Are you serious? Yeah. He's like, Yeah. But I was talking to him about the, the growth of it, right? So were you in high school when they actually it actually started? You were a freshman, right? Sophomore. Sophomore. Yeah. So to watch the growth of it, you know, and like you, you saw this happen in house, yeah. literally, right? In yeah. your home, this yeah. grew through your uncle, your dad, your family, St. Mary's, amateur amateur wrestling, right? That yeah. and that's that's where it started from. Yeah. Um, looking at it, did you ever think it would be going to sectionals? No, I mean the first year it was. I mean it was a big event. Fortunately, the first year we had a lot of the big names and. Ohio wrestling at that time, or middle school wrestling at that time in Ohio, participated. You know, you had, I think, Jaggers and Hurley and um, Bell, you know, guys like that. These guys are good. Yeah, they're good guys. You know, all the big names. They're helped. great guys, maybe? Yeah, great guys. <laughs> they're they really good. good careers, right? So uh, having names like that involved early, I think, obviously, people started following suit and coming and just build from there. And it's to what it is now, the fact that we have sexuals, or they're having sexuals that qualified going pretty well <laughs> yeah and the, and the growth for opportunity for kids yeah. i think it's the biggest thing for me because the districts were full yeah they were maxed out maxed like out. everyone i went to would be maxed out 500 plus yeah and yeah. you couldn't meet the you know the the, the jackson one yeah. if you ever went to the jackson one and the thomas worthington one murder dude like mm -hmm. i it was crazy i'd be there for like eight or nine hours to film all these matches i couldn't even keep track of everything i was doing but now you got more opportunity you've opened it up and it's going to narrow those districts and make them smaller and, and, but you're creating more opportunity because there's more ability to qualify. Yeah. Kids get to wrestle more matches. Maybe kids who want to get the experience of you know going to districts and it's been a tough tournament. You get other kids getting opportunities to wrestle in a bigger, bigger type of event. So I think it's good for every, the whole sport. Okay. So obviously I know you trust the system. Whenever you got your kid, whenever you take your kid to something, that's the ultimate trust. You know, wherever you're leaving your kid for school, daycare, the ultimate trust, right? Yep. When you bring him here, you bring, how many you got? You got three boys, right? Three boys. Three boys. And two of the three I know wrestle, right? Yes. Two of the three are wrestling right now, but bringing them to OEC stuff, it's a no-brainer for you. The competition level is a little stiff, though. Is that ever something that's a concern for you? Uh, they're, they're both in like second, third year, or first and second year wrestlers. So last year, uh, my son Cohen that's here today, he wrestled in the district. And, you know, it's tough. He took two losses, wrestled two really good kids, over two, so, you know, when the kids are in the first and second year and they start wrestling this high level competition you want to make sure you're not it's not too discouraging for them you got to keep their confidence up but you also they got to be exposed to it because that's what they're going to wrestle eventually anyway so got to find a happy medium i guess but the level of competition here is it's outstanding so you got they got to see it so they know what they got to strive for you know like i look at you know jared this is what jared does for a living you're not working. You're working in like industry, right? Yeah. You were in industry. You're selling. You're buying. You're doing a bunch of different. You're a distributor. You're doing a bunch of different stuff, right? Yeah, working on uh, sales, different yeah, things like that. specialist. Yes, yeah, so I work with manufacturing facilities on processes. So. Oh, man, it's, it's crazy though. But you look at it. Your brother, he's he's able to work with wrestling. If you could work with wrestling and do it how he does and make the money you make in industry, there's just so much money in industry. Yeah. I don't think people understand that, yeah. right? I do. Now, as a yeah. teacher, I see it. And I'm like, wow, there's so much money in industry. But if you could work with in wrestling, that that's like kind of the dream for a lot of people is that yeah. something you'd like to think about doing maybe i mean yeah I mean, who wouldn't like to get make a living just uh working with kids and the sport of wrestling it's great right i mean jerry gets to do both he gets a coach and he gets to do the uh, kind of administrative side of wrestling while he's uh, running the tournament so i guess he gets to do a little bit of each and i just can't beat that right okay the exposure you get to see other people you get to see the whole state of ohio all over all corners of the state that is pretty cool. Okay, why, why you got to make me... Now, now I'm going to quit my job. Jeez, what are you doing, man? You weren't supposed to frame it in like that. Okay, does it hurt that Cohen's uncle was a state champ for Claymont? And that you and your brothers... And I, I don't think it hurts. All state finalists are state champs, yeah, right? Yeah. You think that hurts? No, I think it helps a little bit, right? You think so? Come from probably, a wrestling he family. Doesn't even know his, he probably doesn't even know his uncles are state champs. You know that? That's crazy, you know right? That? You know that? That's pretty wild, though, right? Yeah, when you think about cool. it, like... He, uncles that don't have the same last name are, are state champs, and you know that's pretty good. Um, obviously, uh, breeding stock there, I would say. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, okay. Tell your wife I said hi. You got anything yeah. else for me? No, I appreciate what you do, and like I said, this is a great tournament. So thanks for coverage, bro. All right. If you were wondering, 
I know you might have been. It's it's double X is what it is. Double double X, double X if you were wondering, right? I might have actually one of those. All right, hey, thanks for the time. Thanks, Keep grinding, right? Appreciate it. Thanks.